Hi, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Mabuhay is actually alive in the Philippines. I'm from the Philippines. I'm based in the US now. And this is my yoga channel. Welcome to my YouTube yoga. This is a free flow. What is that? If you're new here, this is a playlist here on my channel wherein I move organically or freely without writing down the sequence. I did not plan the class. So basically, I'm just gonna hop on my mat right now and then I'm gonna try to articulate my words as much as I can so that you could follow along. All right, when you're ready, all you will need is yourself and a yoga mat. And look, I got a new yoga mat. Who doesn't want that? Ooh, we love that. <laughs> but before you leave, make sure to give this video a like if you end up enjoying this class of course and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss a flow if you click the bell so when you're ready all you need is yourself and your yoga mat let's begin let's start in child's pose so find your child's pose Sit on your heels and really press your heels to your bum. Now from here, you're gonna extend your hands forward, really reach, reach as much as you can. And then breathe in. And as you breathe out, you melt down on the mat. Feel your body here. Where do you feel any tightness or anything that might be really not as normal or feeling good? And just sway your child's pose here left and right. You can have your forehead hovered from the mat. Now look forward. Drop your forearms firmly if you can and from here, you're just gonna slide yourself into your upward facing dog. So slow and controlled, lift your knees and thighs up from the mat. Good. From here, really push yourself up. You're just holding this for a little bit. Drop the knees down, push back to your child's pose. Good. One more time, slide your way up to your up dog. Inhale. Exhale here. Drop the knees down. Push back. Child's pose. Good. Now this time, we're gonna kind of reverse that. Right? So you're gonna round your back this time. Tuck your chin to your clavicle. Roll forward. And then from here, upward dog. As you lift the knees up and your thighs. Upward facing dog. Good. From here, curl your toes under. Push back. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Good. Have your feet together. This way, it's easy for us to lift our right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knee. Open the hips here, facing now the right side. Good. Stay there. Really feel your body opening up the hips gently. Coming into your squared hips, right? And then straighten the knee. Inhale, stretch. Find length. Exhale, knee to chest. Lift it high. Hold it five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up again. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. You're not going to hold this time. Inhale again, lift up. Lengthen. Exhale. Knee to chest. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to chest. Good. Now from here, you're going to drop the left knee down. Good. Now, extend the right leg out and lift it as high as you can. You're kind of back bending now. Now, from here, you're going to drop the chest down and your chin down and then lift the left foot up. Good. Point both of your toes. You can have the left foot touch your right thigh if that feels good or if, you can, if it's accessible. If not, that's fine if it's not. Okay? From here, you're just holding this position, back bending. Good. Now curl, drop the left foot down, curled under. As you push up, 
Good. And then lift the back knee up or the left knee. And three, like a dog. Beautiful job. Deep inhale here. And as you exhale, you're going to slide the right foot outside of the left mat. Good. In line with your left hand. Left hand all the way up. Fall in triangle as you spin the back heel down. Good job. <laughs> now from here, you're just going to slide all the way coming into your V-shaped position, straddle sit or middle splits, wherever you are. So we're just holding this position, deep inhale. And exhale, fold all the way down, forward, just to where you can without pushing your body. You could either flex or point your toes, whatever you feel at the moment, feel your body. As you breathe in, find length. And as you breathe out, melt down. Good. Feel your body, your muscles really relaxing as you melt down, right? Inhalation is lengthening. Exhalation, melting. Good. Right. Now crawl your fingertips towards you so you could lift your torso up. And then from here, we're going to bend this left knee. Okay? Bending the left knee, coming to your pigeon pose. And then let's wiggle the pigeon left and right. Good. Now from here, you're going to plant both of your palms down anywhere on the mat. You could actually be on the mat, whatever you feel like. I really don't like to follow the mat a lot. Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee up. This is a great way and lift that left knee to your chest. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift the left leg, stretch it up. Three like a dog. Inhale. And exhale here. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knee. Good. Facing now the left side of your side <laughs> or the mat, wherever you are. This is a great way to just really, you know, train yourself to also not be fixated with the mat, right? Or on the mat. <laughs> it actually applies to your lifestyle too. It's pretty interesting to observe. All right. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, knee to your chest. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to chest. Hold it for a little bit. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Maybe you want this at your own pace. Finding your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Now this time you're going to slide that left foot to the right side in line with your hands. Fall in triangle, right hand all the way up. Spin that back heel down and you can have your right hand behind your neck. Good. Stretch here. Open up the chest. Maybe looking up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Drop the right palm down and move that left foot to your, uh, in line with your hip. As you shift your weight forward, shoulders are now past the wrist. You're just going to try to chaturanga your arms and then bring it up. Good. Let's do that again. Lower it down, push up and push up. Good. And then knee to your chest. Good job. Now you're going to cross your left foot to the right and then walk the other foot. Cross it to the left. And then doing that X shape repeatedly as you come close to your hands. And then lifting the hips up, you're right compressing your body as you walk towards your hands. Good. And now if you, if you reach all that maximum of closeness to your hands, coming into your tippy toes. Maybe fingertips on the mat. And then from here, try to challenge yourself to come up to your chair pose, knees together. That's a good technique. Inhale, reach your hands up. Chair pose with your tippy toes, holding it here, focusing down, looking down or looking forward, however you feel. Feel your body holding. You can even have your hands behind your head, tuck in your rib cage. Core is strong, slow and controlled. Stand up. Good. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, palms down to your heart center and round your back. Core is strong. Squeeze your glutes. Stay here. Three, two, everything is strong. One, relax. 
Uttadasana, Mountain Pose. Good. Inhale. Reach your hands up. Utkatasana, Chair Pose. Bend your knees. Look down. You can see your toes. Send your hips back. Good. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. Palms to touch. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee as you twist. Look to the left. Chair twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. From here, try to see if you could actually keep this stable enough to lift the right leg up. Lift it up, hover, and send it back all the way. Good. This is your crescent twist. Whew. Good job. Now drop that back knee down. And then from here, drop the hands down. Maybe pointing the back toes. And straighten the front knee, coming to your Anjani Asana. And then half splits. Anjani forward, and then half splits back. Forward, low lunge, and then half splits. Doing this motion repeatedly to really loosen up everything. Mm, so good. Breathing, pairing with your breath. Don't lose the breath. Good. Now from here, see if you could come to your splits, okay? So if you can't, you can go on to your pigeon or find what works best for you as of the moment. Good. Now wiggle your splits here. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Good. Maybe pulsing yourself up and down or waving your spine. Baby waves or big waves. Find what feels good right now. Breathing. Good. Now let's try to see if you could do the middle splits. And maybe you're more flexible now. And see how far you could go and drop your bum. And then all the way, reach forward to really open up the hips, right? And then maybe you could wiggle yourself forward and back. Just a gentle wiggle. And then we're going to transition to the opposite splits on the right side. Or you can do your pigeon on the right side, right? So crawl your fingertips towards you. And then switching that splits to the right side. Forward now. Good. Wiggle your splits some more. And then inhale. Let's reach your hands up. Point toes. Exhale. Fold all the way down. Good. And again, pulsing it up and down. And just really feeling here from here, right? Like feeling that back sides of your legs really stretching. And you really want to even it out. So for me, I really don't do what I do on the left, I do on the right. Of course, that's like the golden rule, right? <laughs> but for me, I try to feel my body because every time it's going to be different. You might be overusing some one side all the time in your day-to-day -day practice or just not the practice, but your lifestyle, right? So for me, I like, I go on my mat for the purpose of really feeling my own body. Where is tight? What do I want to work at the moment? Right? Good. <laughs> feeling so good. All right. Now coming up slowly to your Anjani Asana. Bend the right knee. Low lunge. Good. Push back. All right, Hanumanasana. Half splits. Again, forward and back. Flex the front foot for that deeper stretch. Pairing it with the breath. You can breathe at your own pace. Good. Now from here, you're going to sit on your bum. And then you're going to cross it, right? So your right knees will be stacked on top of the left knee. Okay, I'm just going to adjust myself towards the center of the mat. All right, from here we have our Gomukhasana shape or cow face arms, right? Then left hand will now sweep all the way up, bend the left elbow as you touch the back of your left, with your left hand. From here, right hand will bend behind you, bend the elbow, and then try to grab or clasp your fingertips to meet or together. It doesn't really have to, of course, this requires a lot of flexibility and mobility, but if you can, then that's great. Good. Now inhale to find length. Stretch up. Exhale to fold. Good. Inhale, find length. Exhale to fold. 
continue doing this, this is a great way to really help mobilize your shoulders, your scapula, even your hips. This is also for me important with scoliosis that for if the right knee is on top, I have the left arm opposite on top. See this? It doesn't really, there's really no right or wrong direction or rules in yoga, right? But like for me, the purpose is if you look at your spine behind you, your hips is lifted onto the right. So you kind of want to balance it out. And it's me important because it's my scoliosis. So I want to reach this left hand up to actually balance that feeling. And if you want to see, you can actually do this and film your back so that you can see it yourself. Film your back naked if you like, so you can really see your spine <laughs> and see what I mean with the hip bones, right? Right? And I really geek on that. I watch a lot of like um, bone structure style, type of um, chiropractor style. <laughs> I don't know. I love learning these things. All right. This is going to help loosen up everything, right? So now maybe just roll your right shoulder and maybe the left. Good. Now we're going to do our compass pose. Grabbing your right foot outside with your left hand. So from the top, left palm is now going to face the foot. See? And then grabbing it from here. And then you're going to straighten that right knee. Right? From here, you can actually swing it to the right. Swinging this. Imagining your hip socket is really flexible and mobile. And then you're going to thread that right hand. You're going to have that right knee behind your right shoulder and you can drop your right hand to wherever you are so this depends on the flexibility right this depends the twist depends on how flexible you are with your torso your spine and also your hips right so that's why i last time i showed you how to do the compass pose when you sit when your both sit bones are grounded you can do that too or you could lift the right butt cheek up depending on how you're feeling, right? And you could also have your right hand behind you, see me in the mirror, and then bind with the other hand and really point the toes, exerting the effort, stretch. Inhale, look to the left. Exhale, bend the knee, look to the toe. Inhale, look to the left. Exhale, bend the knee, point the toes. Good, repeatedly. This is a great way, guys, to really get your standing splits, everything flexible with your hips, with your legs. Of course, you might not be this straight, and that's fine. I didn't start straight, too. <laughs> All right. Now let's stack that right knee again on top of the left. Good. And then here, just stretch forward your arms. Okay? And now you're going to have your fingertips come to the tops, tipsy tops, and then you're gonna try to stand up with your feet. Let's see, good, boom, X shape. And then from here, you're gonna draw a big circle or half circle with your hands to the left side. If your right knee is on top, right? And then coming into the backs and then stretch here. Straddle, like a, almost like a wide-legged standing position. And then inhale, reach your hands all the way up to come up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Good. Inhale to stretch your arms forward. Exhale, insert your hands behind the legs and your bum. Fold. Really try to compress your body. Again, inhale, find length. Maybe slide up and then exhale. Fold all the way down, melt. Really try to, to really grab the backs. Now from here, you're gonna bend the knees just to where you can, not all the way. And then you're gonna release the hands. Try to see if you could actually bend the elbows. So you're gonna have your elbows bent as your hands are palms facing up behind your back. Okay? From here, you're gonna try to strain the knees as slow as you can. And then you're gonna look back. Good. Now, if you get to this point, you can look up to your bum and then bend the knee look down onto the mat and then look up to the bum straighten the knees good you're not really straightening the knees it's almost impossible with the shape but you're just trying your best this is a great hamstring stretch inhale as, as you straighten the knees exhale as you bend the knees 
good. Now halfway and release the bind of the hands and good job. Now you're gonna draw half circle again with your fingertips to the left side as you pivot your feet now. Both are gonna face to the left side as you cross your legs again and you're gonna sit down again to your Gomukhasana or cow face arms legs. Good. Now grab both of your feet, wiggle your butt cheeks left and right. And we're not rushing. You were here. Take this time for yourself. Close your eyes. Good. Since left knee is up, right hand up. Inhale. Bend the right elbow, touch the back with your right hand, left hand behind you, bend the elbow and try to bind. You don't really have to bind, it's okay. Wherever you are in your practice, you're exactly where you're meant to be. Good. From here, inhale, lengthen but tuck in your rib cage, right? Exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, fold. We're gonna do a lot of these like what we did on the other side. This is so great for everyone, especially these days. I'm doing crochet. <laughs> so I really need a lot of shoulder mobility, hamstring stretch because I'm always sitting down doing all these like computer work too. And you know, if or you're always on the computer, this is really important for longevity. <laughs> all right, maybe a few more. If you feel that it's balanced enough, you can of course stop and rest otherwise. You can continue doing it with me. Two more. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now release the bind. Shake it up. Now we're going to grab that left foot, right? Hands will be palms facing the foot. From here, you're going to grab it outside of that foot and then swing it. Stretch that left knee as you swing it to the left side. Good. Left hand will now thread behind and then you can have that left knee behind your left shoulder. Right? Either butt cheek is lifted. Look to the right if you like it this way. This is a great stretch and twist. See this side stretch here? The twist of the body. This is really what you want. See how you feel that? The compass pose is really so good with your twist. You could even gently rock it right and left, kind of like a clock. <laughs> right? Just feel your body wherever it really feels like, okay, I can do this. Sometimes you'll be surprised where your body can take you. All right, now I'm going to... Drive my both of my butt cheeks down and left palm will be reaching beat to the left side, looking up. Breathe. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing again earlier. Lift the left butt cheek up as you bind. Good. And then straighten that left knee, look to the right, and then bend. Good. Straighten. And bend. See, I'm kind of twisting. You don't need to twist. You could just continue doing this. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to do something, new things, right? <laughs> twisting and straightening and bending. Good. Maybe staying there. How do you feel here? Good job. And the last one. Straighten the knee. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And one. Good job. Release the bind. Slow and controlled. Coming into our lotus pose. Okay, so you can stack the left foot on top of that right inner crease thigh. Really bring it as close to the thigh or the crease, right? And same with the right. All right, we're going to do a little bit of a deep back bend here. Okay, so adjust yourself behind going to the backs of the mat as you reach your hands forward kind of like folding. This is also a great way to kind of really compress your body. See, your uh, heels are now really touching your uh, lower belly part, right? It's actually good for massaging also your organs there. Right? Feel that, really compress. For other people, that might be really uncomfortable, but as you do this more often, you'll get really used to it and it's so good for your digestion, you know? Every, like the fecal matter, <laughs> really rolling. That's really why compression is good for digestion, is because of that, <laughs> right? Breathe in, breathe out. Meltdown. 
All right. Now from here, if you could actually drop the forearms on the mat, that's great. If not, that's fine. Adjust yourself. So if you could drop the forearms, you could actually kind of like do this coming onto the knees, right? So this will depend if you, you know, your knees are sensitive, you could actually put some mat or like thicker towel there, and then you can walk your knees out more depending on you because we're gonna do a puppy pose in lotus okay so stretch your hands forward and see if you could drop your chin down or your forehead first if you like and then stay there this is such a deep stretch and back bend all right you can either stay there now what i'm gonna be doing next is really really probably advanced flexibility <laughs> you're gonna push yourself forward forearms are firmly down as you dip your hips down good this is a great way to open up your hips you don't have to do this if it's really uncomfortable for you you don't need to do it just stay in that lotus shape and eventually you'll be opening up your hips all right, slow and controlled. You're gonna come onto your fingertips as close to your chest as possible as you lift yourself up and rolling those knees coming back to your child's pose variation in your lotus. Good. Breathe. All right, now push forward, untangle your legs however you desire. And from here, let's find our downward facing dog. So find your dog, walk your dog if you have to, and then feet together. Left leg all the way up, inhale. And then from here, we're gonna do what we did on the other side earlier. Exhale. Now drop the right knee down. Good job. And then from here, kick that left leg all the way up. Back bend now. And then you're gonna drop the chest down and your chin. And then lift the right foot up. You can touch the thigh if you like with the right foot. And stay here. This is a great back bend. Good. Drop the right foot down, curled under, and then drop, push up all the way and then lift the knee up three-legged dog stretch good knee to chest inhale left leg up knee to chest exhale again inhale up and exhale good from here you're gonna drop the left foot next to your left hand inside feet are hip distance apart coming up onto your crescent lunge inhale and exhale, slide your hands behind your neck. Good. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck in your rib cage. Strong core. Inhale, up. Exhale, slide it behind you. Good. Now from here, you're going to step, big step, that right foot forward to meet the, right, the left. Good. Share pose. Good. From here, palms to touch, and you're going to twist to the right. And your left elbow will now hook outside of the right knee. We did this on the other side earlier, right? Just want to even it out. Look up. Good. From here, lift the left leg up, hover it, try to balance, and then dropping it behind you, finding your low lunge. Drop the back knee. Good. Untuck the back toes, and then right hand. We'll grab the thigh from here, left hand all the way up and right bending now, feeling good. Breathe. All right, let's take our vinyasa. Drop both of your palms down on the mat. Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee up. Knee to your chest, lift it up, three-legged dog, and let's take our vinyasa. Good. Roll forward, one-legged high plank. Inhale as you shift forward, shoulders are past the wrist. Exhale as you come down onto your chaturanga, slow and controlled. Inhale to your upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, how are you feeling now? Hopefully you feel good. Okay, push all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hover your knees, bend it. And then really just hover, right? You're not dropping it down. And then now from here, you're going to kind of really round the back and really strong core, hold it. Holding it. If you're shaking, that's fine. Good. Three, downward dog. Inhale. 
Exhale, hover the knees, bend the knees. Hover from the mat. Good. Now you're going to send the right knee in and then bring it down, hover. Left knee up, bring it down and hover. Try to see if you could keep it bent. Different feeling with the core. Alternating. Good. Now from here, knee in and you're gonna drop it, the right foot inside of the right hand. Good. Coming into your crescent lunge, reach the right hand and left hand up. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, slide it down behind the neck. Rib cage in, inhale, lengthen, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale, lengthen, or rather sliding it down, inhale, you got it. <laughs> exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale all the way down, dropping that back knee down, untuck the back toes, point it, push back with the hands behind you. Let's see if you could do half splits without the help of your hand. Again, forward. You can have this as close to your, um, like down on the mat, right? To really open up the hips. And then as you push back, knee and belly and thigh connection, this actually allows you to do it easier as you go do your half splits, right? See that feeling? If you get this connection, you could actually interlace your fingers behind you if you like that feeling. Opening the shoulders here. And then see if you could flex the foot for in front of you. Good. This is a great way to also work on your proprioception and your balance. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's do more leg opening or stretches. Vispa Mitrasana. You're going to pivot that left foot to like a 90 degree angle again, parallel to the backs of the mat. Now from here, hands, right hand will now be inside that right leg. Okay? And then find your um, stable spot. Ideally, your right wrist is on top of the right shoulder. From here, you're going to fold that thing. So same thing as you grab the compass pose that I showed you earlier with the foot and then fold it here. Right knee, and then from here, you're gonna straighten that right leg. And then insert your head, look up. Breathe. We're really not rushing here. Good job. Now slow and controlled, you're just gonna drop that right foot down, and then coming back onto that uh, shape <laughs> with a low lunge. Left palm drops down, right hand all the way up. Let's twist here. Breathe. All right, let's take our vinyasa, plant the right palm down, and right uh, feet is lifted. One-legged high plank again, if you like. Otherwise, you could drop it, shift forward, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward facing dog. Good. Left leg lifts up, bend the knee. Good job. Send it in as high as you can. <laughs> now from here, drop the right foot down and pivot it. Again, 90 degree angle. From here, <laughs> you know what to do. We're gonna do the same thing. Bend that left knee and then left shoulder inside of that left leg. Drop the right hand in line with that shoulder. Again, Visva Mitrasana. Grab the foot, fold it. Good, fold the knee as you stretch the legs all the way. Good, look forward and up. Breathe. Stay here for a little bit more. Good, dropping it down slowly if you can. And then let's do our splits again. How many splits now? Ooh, so good. <laughs> Stretch and then relax in your splits. All right, now you're going to have your hands to the right side of that left leg as you swing it back. Good. We're now going to do more cobra waves. So have your hands maybe outside of the mat if that feels good for you. And as we do the wave, we're just going to look left and right. Looking down, looking to the right, looking down, looking to the left, down, right up, 
down center, left up, down and center. Pairing it with your breath. Good. Now come into your center and wiggle your body, shake it up. And then from here, you're gonna bend the knees and grabbing the ankles or your feet, wherever you like. <laughs> and then we're gonna do our bow pose. Lift the knees all the way up. And then I like to flex my toe. This is just a diff different stretch, but find what works best for you. If you feel like you wanna point it out and really stretch, opening up, that's fine. This is just different stretch. Feel this. Your pelvis is more grounded too. Stay there, breathe. And all the way down. Good, push back to your child's pose. And let's do a rabbit pose to end. All right, drop the crown of your head down on the mat. Grab your heels with your hand, lift the hips up. And rabbit pose. We're just counteracting that back bend. Open the knees or feet out if you like. I love this feeling. Now, of course, no forcing there. This is, this is gonna depend also with your bone structure, if that's comfortable enough with your length of your arms, the length of your legs. All right, coming back slow and controlled to sit up. Good, and I'll just face you in a cross-legged Sukhasana position to end this video. Whew, I hope you enjoyed that class. That was a relaxing one. I don't know if it's relaxing enough for you. It is pretty stretchy, <laughs> but I hope you still enjoyed. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed that free flow. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel once again if you haven't already. And I'll see you again on the next class. Bye!